Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. This tutorial is the continuation of the previous two tutorials regarding how to simply calculate the torque in electromagnetic or magnetostatic simulations. Um, here I have the simulation uh, results ready and, uh, and the only thing I'm going to show you is basically uh, the torque uh, that we have uh, around the, X, the, the Z axis and uh, you can simply right click on the setup and go to the solution setup and you will get after the pass 7 which is you know pretty good pa number of passes um, you can get the, the, the torque value that, you, that is 1.125 uh, 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 basically it's actually 11 micronewton per meter uh, so therefore for the size that we applied I mean the small coil that we have and the magnet that we had this uh, seems to uh, be a very reasonable uh, torque that we, uh, we calculated. Um, of course, if you increase the current, you should be able to see more torque, and that can be done as an assignment for you guys uh, by uh, making a parametric sweep over the different amount of current, and you should be able to see different amount of uh, uh, torque. Um, one other thing I was going to show you is basically how the calculation has been um, handled here and uh, um, I want to show you the error delta error energy uh, when you uh, run electromagnetic simulations just always make sure that uh, the delta error energy is going through uh, a very a smooth and healthy way of converging um, in this case um, I'm going to show you um, a better scale here instead of linear I'm going to go with the logarithmic and you should be able to see that in a logarithmic scale we have a linear um, basically um, uh, increase in the accuracy and decrease in the delta energy error if you see some jumps going around uh, there is some problems with your meshing or your design and basically what you are getting is not as accurate that you might actually expect so look at this beautiful smooth um, uh, basically graph that shows that the simulation is converged healthily and uh, rightly and uh, that will be basically uh, what I was going to show you here um, um, good luck with your simulations and thanks for watching